All right, YouTube, what's going on? What's going on? On the road to 300 subscribers. Appreciate the love. Look, just give it to you guys straight raw, straight uncut. No pun intended to this video. I'm going to talk to you guys about drugs, though. Talk to you guys about ecstasy. Talk to you guys about the few times that I did back in the day. The few times. The one, two, three, four times that I took it. But before I continue on with the video, I'm going to get serious. Let me get serious for a second, okay? okay? I talked about shit before. I talked about it. If you got a drug problem, if you're struggling with any type of drug issues, whatever it is, the crack, the coke, pills, meth, the heroin, the lean, go get that help. People do care about you. People do love you. That shit is serious. That shit has taken a lot of people's lives. Go get help. I know I crack jokes. I know I try to be funny, yada, yada. But with serious shit like that, that shit is real. Y'all need to go get serious. Y'all need to go get help. Okay? I can't. Right, so the story's going to start summer 2009. Fresh out of high school. I had no plans to go to college. I had a friend. You know, I spent a lot of time at his house. We smoke our buzz, smoke our black and mild, listen to music, play video games, Call of Duty preferably. That was our shit. Um, but we didn't have no plans. We was on some real bummy, no plans out of high school type shit. Whatever. Like I said, I was smoking bud. He had an older brother who smoked bud, so that was kind of like a mutual thing. And you know how that shit goes. He had an older brother. We had a connect. And the connect, obviously, you know, you know. So one day, I'm over I'm over at the house. He comes and he says to me, yo, no, yo, Nick, um, you think you'd give me a ride over to yada yada? We could go pick up some, some bud, some pills. I got some shit I got to do tonight. I'm like, all right, fuck it, bro. Like, I'm, I'm here. I don't got nothing I got to do. Like, let's just go whenever you're ready. So we drive over there, you know, take him over to his boy's house. He goes inside, does the transaction, whatever, whatever, comes back in the car. And mind you, before this time, I never take no pills. I was never interested in taking no pills. I was not doing, like, even the fucking Vicodins and shit that I was getting from the dentist, I really was not interested. I, like, it, they just fucked me up. Um, so he get in the car. And you know, we're young and naive and curious. And we're just kind of like, yo, bro. So, like, what's that like? What's that shit? I, I never knew. I, I was never around that type of shit. So I'm asking the question, like, yo, what's that shit like? And he's explaining to it, like, the colors. And, like, you know, obviously he's talking about fucking the bitch on that shit. And just all the, the euphoric feelings and shit that comes with the whole. He's like, yo, bro, there's, there's triple stack. There's double stack. There's Barack Obama pills. There's Mercedes Benz pills. There's Transformer pills. There's. And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Yo, like, I was so kind of like blown away by this shit, but I was like, Damn, but like, you're not scared to take that shit? Or, like, that shit feels that good? Like, like I'm just used to smoking fucking game cigarillos and smoking my butt. I don't know anything about the shit you're talking about. But the way he made it seem, it was like, yo. And I think his brother, like, you know, my boy, he was vouching, like, yo, bro, that shit's cool. Like, it is cool. Like, I'm like, all right, man. All right, like, let's get this shit going. That's how I was thinking. I was just kind of like, well, if he could get him, I could get him. And we did. We called the plug, hit him up. Yo, can we go pick up some pills? He's like, yeah, come through. We drive over there, pick him up, no issues. We drive back. We had no plans. We had no plans. It was like, it wasn't like we were going to the to the, to the the club. Like, we are young as hell, but it was like, we are just kind of like, yo, this is going to take ecstasy and see where it takes us. I don't know. Because, again, this is my first time doing this shit, so I'm just kind of like, all right, fuck it. So we go back to his mom's crib. Go in the room, you know, we start to throw the, X, uh, the Xbox on, we bullshit, and then we take the pill. Nasty as fuck. Nasty. Not even going, like, that shit was, like, it just had a nasty ass feeling that just, like, a flavor that sat in the back of your throat. Like, it tastes like shit. It took about, like, 40 minutes, 45 minutes to, uh, to kick in. So, so after I took it, like I said, we turned the Xbox on. We're playing Call of Duty, and I'm just saying that, you know, we're just vibing, bullshitting, you know, issue, whatever, whatever, whatever. And I swear to God, man, out of nowhere, like, out of nowhere, the lights, like, you see how I got close? Like, like every, like, the lights opened up, like, the, I'm I'm looking at the TV, like, and, and <laughs> you don't see it when you're, when you're rolling. That's what it's called. You're rolling, like, I'm rolling out of this bitch. When you're rolling, your eyes, your pupils, they get real dilated and your eyes just get... So I'm sitting there, like, just playing. But I feel like I'm in the motherfucking Call of Duty game. Like, I feel like all the colors are just, like, bouncing at me. And I'm sitting there playing, like, yo, like, this is a great fucking feel. Like, I understand why that shit happens, why people get addicted. 
I get it. I get it. I, I get it. I've talked on other videos when, because <laughs> this wasn't the first time I've taken a pill. Like, I've talked about when I took Xanax. I've talked about, you know, like, I've taken Vicks and Shabikadins and things like that. But even when I took those pills, I understood the danger and, like, how, because it makes you feel fucking great. Bro, it made you, made me feel like, yo, this is fucking great. I mean, I'm just playing a video game. We cut the video game off a little bit after that. We put on, I brought over um, a documentary called Cocaine Cowboys. One of my favorite documentaries documentaries ever. You guys should definitely check it out. It's about like the cocaine drug wars in the 80s and shit like that. So go check it out. I put you on that. We throw that shit on the Xbox. And man, I'm watching this motherfucking DVD. And bro, I'm feel motivated. I'm inspired. I'm watching them counting money. I'm, and again, like I said, the colors, the sounds coming out of the TV. Everything is just amplified like everything is just kind of like and i'm just sitting there like so like like in that i like it it, it was crazy it was crazy i think i i think it was all like i felt it for like maybe i don't even know how long it took for me to get to this next feeling that i had but as i'm sitting there watching the documentary i'm watching tv just like this and it just went away the high went away to come and I was just starting to come back down to reality. And that was probably one of the saddest moments I had in my life at that point where it was kind of like, yo, what the fuck just happened? Because I, I was just up here playing Call of Duty and like the lights and everything. I was just up here and out of nowhere, boom. It's like, boom, back to reality. And I'm watching, I'm watching this documentary. I'm like, this shit is boring. I really don't know why. Cause I, by the time I had watched that shit like a hundred, two hundred thousand times. But when I was when I was high, when I was off this shit, I was like, yo, this is like the first time I watched it. I was like, yo, this shit's crazy. Man, they go that money they got me. I'm gonna get that money. And then when I came, came down, it was like, man, turn this fucking shit. The next on, day, man. um, there was this club called Club Play that they had on like Friday, Saturdays, and things like that. Remember I said this is summertime, so we had we had made arrangements to go pick up some pills to go to club play, and again, this is the next day. The next day, I haven't eaten from the day I because when you're on ecstasy, when you're on that shit, bro, you have no appetite, and that fucking e that ecstasy that shit that shit eats away at your stomach and, and like, bro, I it dehydrates you, it fucks you up, but. Remember I was talking about the high and just kind of like wanting like I know how how people want to get um how people get addicted to that shit because the next day we were on that shit again because I was just kind of like yo like I don't like how I feel like I need to get this shit again and we didn't even go to the club that like we haven't really experienced it with music and a bunch of people around us and like the boom 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 boom, boom, boom. like we I'm trying I'm trying to get lit off that shit so he's like all right well I hit I hit up I hit up dude and we'll see what's good. We, um, same routine, go get the pills, come back, yada, yada. But this time we had, um, we had plans to go to another one of our friends' house and we were pre-gaming on. So before I went to that house to pre-game, you know, I went to my boy's house that I get the pills with. I go there, we're chilling and we take the pills together. Cause it was just kind of like, yo, like I'm still kind of weary about it. I still really don't know how to feel. We take the pills together, go over to uh to my boy's house to pregame. He got a bunch of people in the garage. They're playing beer pong and you know they're drinking and this and that. Like I said, we just graduated high school. Like we all just this is probably our last okay, summer together. Right. We're all getting fucked up. We're enjoying ourselves. So, bro, I remember. And I, remember <laughs> and I just remember throughout that night, I had to fit it on. And I kept getting ice from the ice switch from the fridge to the freezer or whatever. And I was putting ice in my hat and putting it on. And people were like, yo, what the fuck is wrong with Robert? What are you doing, bro? What are you doing? And then, like, my boy went, nah, he rolling right now. He rolling. And I'm just sitting there like, bro, what are you talking about, man? I, like, just talking 100 miles per hour. Super friendly. Like, just showing mad love to everybody. Um, tell you the truth, I don't, I don't even think I was drunk. Like, I don't even think I drank on that shit just because it was kind of like... Man, I was just, I was just high. <laughs> I 
<laughs> like just thinking about it, bro. I was just ripped. I was just so high off the shit. So I wasn't even. But you know, it just kind of like it makes you very anxious. Not in a bad way either. Like it's kind of like I. Right, so like, what are we doing now? Like, what what are we getting into? I'm trying. I'm trying to have fun. I'm trying to dance. I'm trying to talk to people. Like I'm talking just like this. How I'm talking now, but I was like faster. I have a water bottle. And you know, when you're getting, like, you know, you're getting nervous, you get anxious, like, I'm just playing with the water cap. Like, I'm just kind of, just because that's how this shit, like, I'm rolling, my teeth are grinding. You know, you heard that phrase, lock jaw? Like, when you, you know, you're just biting on your teeth and you, you like, that's how, like, that shit happens. So I'm sitting, I'm gonna brother's this party. They looking at me, yo, motherfucker, we're very crazy. You bugging as hell, but we drive over to the club, we go to club play. If you remember Club Play, man, I know y'all remember Club Play because that shit was lit. I got a couple stories from Club Play. I do got a couple stories from Club Play, so. I had a great fucking time. I swear I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I'm not going to bullshit again. I didn't even go there drunk. I wasn't drinking. I was just rolling like a motherfucker. I was just rolling hard as hell, going up and down, dancing, water bottle. I was pouring water on me, man. Like, I was ripped, but I was just enjoying it. Like, the lights is, like, everything, bro. T-Pain on the motherfucking stereo, or the DJ putting the, I don't know, whatever was playing back then, man. But it was a great, <laughs> it was a great for the not condoning and not promoting drug use, man. Please seriously get help. But I'm just giving you guys my own personal experience because like with everything that's good, there's some bad shit that does happen. All right. So we're going to get there. So it's not all just fucking ecstasy rainbows and fucking unicorns and shit. There is some fucking demons and dragons and dark shit that comes with that shit. So get help. What's another time? We got some pills. We wanted to go get some pills to start rolling. Same routine. Hit up the dude, go pick him up, come back, yada yada, just chill. And mostly the time, like, after that, we just kind of just bullshit and just chill with it. I wasn't gambling at the time, so I was just kind of like, look, we could just chill off the motherfucking. Let's go play some Call of Duty and just, just whatever, smoke and just vibe, like, it's whatever. So, um, that's what we did. We came back to the crib, to his mom's crib, you know, turn, turn the Xbox on, playing it. One day, so then, out of nowhere, I get a call from my mom. I pick up the phone, my mom's like, hey, Bob, what you doing? I'm at your sister's house, blah, blah, blah. Why don't you, why don't you come by? Like, come, come say what's up. Over there. I'm like, wow, not right now. Not right now. Because I had just taken a pill maybe like 30, 45 minutes prior to this. So it's starting to kick, it's starting to kick in. Like, my eyes, I'm starting to get like... Like, I'm starting to get it. I'm starting to feel real good. And look at the goosebumps and shit. So, I'm like, no, man. I, I, I don't know, man. I, I, I. Come on, Bob, please. I, probably if I wasn't rolling, I wouldn't have been so nice about it. Just like, okay, man, whatever. So, I was just kind of like, okay, man. I'll be there. I'll be there soon. I'm going to walk over there. So, I'll be there. Whatever. So, I go there. Knock on the door. Hey, Bob, how you doing? Whatever. What's going on, man? What up, man? I'm just over at so-and-so's house. I'm just hanging out. Oh, okay. So I walk in the house, you know, my, I walk into my sister's apartment. My mom's looking at me and she's like, Nick, why do your eyes so big? I'm like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about eyes? What are you talking about? And mind you, I'm rolling like a bitch right now. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm like, mom, what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm like, what are you talking about? Why, why are you... I kept denying it. I was just kind of like, Mom, your, your eyesight's fucked up. My eyes are big. Your eyes are big. Now, that situation, you know, there was nothing that really came about it, whatever, whatever. But that situation, I feel like could have went way left because of this reason right here. You guys ever seen Bad Boys 2? That scene where, you know, they're in the mortuary. Martin accidentally takes the ecstasy pill. They go to the captain's house later on that night. The motherfucking E hits him when they're on the porch. That shit. Me and my mom, we love that movie. We, watched, we used to watch that movie together. We crack up at that scene and different scenes. We love that movie. And I was going to quote a line from that movie when she asked me, Nick, why are your eyes so big? When Martin was asked by Will, yo, did you take some of that ecstasy? Look at your pupils. Look at your eyes. I was going to say to my mom, mom, you want me to look my eyes? You want me to be like, uh, uh. I swear to God, I was going to hit her with that same line, but I knew my mom's not no fucking dummy. My mom's not no dummy. So I felt like if I say that line to her, she was going to put two and two together. Like, wait, where did I hear that line from? 
Oh, that was too. Ramari took the SC as well. Nick, are you high? So I kept that shit. So I was like, Mom, your eyes are big. My eyes ain't big. My life. I'm walking around the crib like. Shit was crazy, man. Shit was crazy. It was, like I said, with everything that's good and funny and ecstasy, euphoric, rainbows and fucking unicorns, there's the evil shit that comes with it. So we had made plans um, to go pick up some pills. My boy had some plans with some girls. We did have plans this night to go to like a bonfire or some type of shit like that. So I'm like, bet, let's go. Like, I'm hearing all this shit about fucking on E. I'm trying to, let's go find out what that is like. Let's be on it. I'm ready for it. Calls the plug out. We drive over there. Same routine. No bullshit, no issues, whatever, whatever. Drop my boy off at his crib. He's like, yo, I'm going to go inside and take a nap. Come back over in like an hour or two, whatever, whatever. We'll take the pills. We'll meet up with the girls. But they were his friend. The, the girls were his friend. He's like, we'll meet up with them. All right, cool, bet. <laughs> I drop him off. I go back to my house. You know, I let some time go. I eat. You know, I get ready for the night. Cause I know I, I, I got to get ready. I got to get something in my stomach. I'm going to be rolling like a bitch. So I got to eat. I'm not trying to get fucked up. So I'm preparing myself. I go home. Before I leave, I'm, I'm at the crib for like an hour, hour and a half maybe. Before I leave the house, I take the pill. Tastes like shit. Tastes like shit. Like shit, shit. Take the pill, I drive over to his house. Knock on the door. Mom opens the door. Hey, um, is, uh, home? Yeah, he's asleep though. He's been asleep for like, since he got home. Like, he's real tired. You want me to wake him up? Now, if I wasn't rolling, I probably would have been like, yeah, wake him up. We got to go get some bitches at the bonfire. Like, go wake his ass up. But me being the nice guy when I'm rolling, just being like, oh, it was kind of like, oh, no, it's okay. We don't got no plans. I, 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 just tell him to call me later. I'll talk to him later. Bye. I just bounce. And I'm rolling. I'm like, yo, like, so I get in the car. <laughs> I get in the car and I call him and he's not picking up. I'm like, man, what the fuck? Because now I have no idea what to do now. It's like 7, 8 o'clock at night. I'm sitting in my car. I'm in front of my, my boy's crib. Motherfucking street lights are coming on. They're bright as fuck. I'm looking at this shit. I'm sitting in the car like, fuck, like, what am I doing? Like, so I end up going home. Rolling. Like a bitch. I end up going home. Remember, walked in my, walked in my bedroom. I just remember, walked in my bedroom. Laid in my bed. Turned the light off. And I kid you not, this is probably the scariest feelings that I ever had in my life. I'm laying in bed. I'm laying right on my back. I'm, mind you, I'm still rolling. I'm still like, this shit is still a fact. My heart is just like. And I'm scared, bro. Like, I'm bullshit. Like, I'm sitting like, like, laying in the bed like, like, am I to die right now? Like, are these? Because I, I, I never felt this way with these types of pills. Like, they were like. They were red Super Mario stars. And before that, I had taken red Mario Super Mario stars and blue Mario stars. And I was taking different ones. But these ones, I don't know. But I'm laying in bed. I'm like, oh, my God. Like, I'm about to die. I'm about to die. There was a street light that it was right above my window. And that motherfucking light out of, like, that shit was shining so bright through my curtain blinds that it felt like, like the heavens, like the heaven was just calling me. Like, like the heaven gate, like the light, it was just kind of like, <laughs> and I played the bed, like, what the fuck? I had a cat at that time, motherfucking cat comes into the room and just jumps on my lap, like I'm laying down, she just jumps on my lap, Cece, God rest her soul, man, I had her for 16, 17 years, man, good ass cat, Lay, just lays on my lap, gets comfortable, and I'm laying down like, yo, am I really about to die right here in my bed with my cat on my lap? I'm like, yo, I was so fucking scared. Ultimately, ended up falling asleep. I don't know what happened the rest of the night, but that was the last time I ever took ecstasy. That was the last time I had any interest in taking ecstasy, anything like that, because, bro, I was scared as fuck. Terrified. Like, that was one of the scariest things that I ever experienced in my life. Um, I don't know, man. Like I said... I'm going to wrap it up, get help, seek help, that shit is real, the lean, the pills, 
dope coke, all that bullshit. Just cut that shit out. Smoke a bad with your boy. Smoke a gun with your boy. Yes, I, I, we're good. We good with that. All that other bullshit though. Come on, man. We gotta stay off that shit. We gotta do better. Show some love. Three hundred. We on the road. Peace. I did it wrong. Catch you on the next one. Peace.